there's this thing there's been this new feature that was added on YouTube and it is the audience tab which is on our analytics which allows me to see what my YouTube crowd is watching and what who else they are watching and what other videos they're watching it's in the experimental phase right now it shows me what my core audience is and what circle I'm in based on the audience that I have right so I'm gonna show you right now what it looks like and uh, we will discuss so here it is here's the screen Ooh, that's a little bright this is the main screen right I'm not gonna show you all the stuff above it because it has some more uh, crucial numbers but here's the main thing you need to look at right here the other channels your audience watches and other channels your audience watched or other videos your audience watched I think it would take zero seconds for you guys to understand what everybody's watching all persona 5 not just persona 5 but it's mainly like I mean it's really all persona and SMT right literally Faz, Gnarly, Harry, Hallite which I've never seen of any of uh, their stuff, Buff Meister, Second Page, Nerf David, Omni is like the one literally the only one, Eva Translate, Waifu Hunter, Chris Gamefield, Dism, uh, Lessons in Medium Culture which is okay, No Miko, Heavenly, Fither, and Gabba so I'm sure that everybody can finally understand. Yeah, and this shit kills me, right? This is the shit that kills me. This is what my audience is watching. You might not think it's an issue, but for me, it's actually a pretty big issue. And I kind of wanted to just talk about uh, who I am, what I wanted my content to be, and kind of where we have to go from here. The natural thing is that people are going to watch other persona creators since I'm a persona creator, right? That's the main thing that I, that I want to do or that wasn't the main thing that i want to do but it's the main thing that blew my content up it's the main thing that my channel's focused around it's what got me to where i am today but this is like concerning for a lot of reasons for me because persona is not my only aesthetic and as a matter of fact it's probably just sort of like a vessel for me to make my content so it's really concerning that these are the people that people are putting me with or that youtube is putting me with and um i guess i want to start with the first point that and this is like uh, this is gonna be a much more serious topic but i just want to keep it you know let's keep it a buck right there are no black people here other than omni and omni is not like his videos have nothing to do with the culture pretty much at all you know what I mean I don't know how to say this I have to I have to word this very carefully because you know people are gonna take this shit out of context Omni doesn't make content with mainstream black culture as a focus or a priority whereas mine does have like a little bit it does have quite a bit like you guys with the walkie slush crip walking in a diaper those videos that you send in 50 tyson like shit like that is a part of my culture like even if it as just like a meme and so much more than that like even jokes that you guys miss that i make a lot or references that you guys miss that i make all comes from like black culture and so the fact that i go through this and i see like not a single one kind of puts me on edge because I, that is a direction that I want my content to go into. I, I want to have black culture be a part of my content and have a community in black culture. And that's, this is somewhat scary because none of these people are even like, they're like the furthest thing. They're like the furthest thing from it. You know what I mean? You know, it, it can, it gets kind of scary. And I, I'm not saying that like, there's anything wrong with, you know, I don't want this to be like a big race thing, but what I'm saying for me personally is that my audience, my community, and my content has black culture in it as a priority, as a focus. It's how I talk. You know, I there are frequent times where I code switch and I'm like, you know, I speak much more in that way. But your YouTube videos don't have as much culture as your streams do. And I'm aware of that. I'm aware of my own mistakes in that. And that's sort of my fault. I haven't been pushing it. I'm not trying to force it, but you sh you should be able to tell especially if you are a part of black culture you should be able to tell and i'm not asking you guys to go out there and change your core video watching like if you like that that's what you like it's really up to me to make the content and really push to include that audience in it i just have to figure out a way to do that the second thing that i'll say is that this is so fucking heavily persona like it's incredibly heavy persona to the point where it's like problematic for me because it's the last thing i want to be quite honest i know early on what made me big was challenge runs and persona like it was the two combined that really did it for me it's can you beat blank 
with blank. And so it's weird to me that I don't have a single challenge runner in here. There's no Senza, there's no Mitten, there's no Dante, there's no Viper, there's nobody at all from the challenge run, uh, challenge run community in here, maybe Sans and Yarly. It's just all Persona. So it, it's like none of my other content, none of the variations of my content stick at all. And that's another thing that bothers me because I don't plan on staying here. I plan on continuing to come back to Persona, of course, like Persona 6, Persona 5 Strikers, all those things will get played and we'll have challenge runs probably, but it's disappointing that this is what it looks like. The third thing is what happens when you get stuck in this hole. Persona, unfortunately, is really nasty. Persona only likes Persona. And I thought at first that I was just not appealing to the common interests of Persona people. Like, you know how like Persona is, you can expand it into JRPGs and you can expand it into animes and stuff like that. So you can like kind of go in different directions. That's how it normally works. Like if you're a Nintendo kid, you can play Smash, then you can go play Mario, you can go play Pokemon and do whatever, right? I figured the next logical place that I could go from Persona was Pokemon. So recently we've been playing Pokemon on the streams, right? That's for me to give not only you guys new content because playing Persona all the time is very boring on stream, but to give the YouTube frogs new content and bring in new communities. The Persona people would watch the Pokemon stuff and then it would get recommended to Pokemon people and then it would just continue to build. Unfortunately, Persona people only watch Persona. So what ends up happening is that when they send those Pokemon videos out to Persona people, they don't watch it and it deads it. It deads it entirely. It doesn't send it to Pokemon people first. It sends it to my subscribers first and then it gauges if my subscribers want to watch it, then it'll send it out to blow up, which is a not good because Persona people don't want to watch Pokemon. They sub to me for Persona stuff and it's hard. And if I can keep it a buck with you guys, I didn't know how bad it was. I'm stuck, like stuck, 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 stuck. Normally, if you have a game and you blow up on that game, you can find other creators, you can collaborate, and you can eventually get out of your hole because of like-minded games that are similar. Like, like I was just mentioning before, Pokemon people can play Smash, then can go on to Mario. And because those games are so similarly connected, you can gradually just build your way out into a variety. But if Persona people don't wanna see shit but Persona, I'm stuck and I will grow so slowly from here on out and it will take me a really, really long time. Dang and Rampa. I mean, I could try it, but I've already played it. Another thing is, I need to take it further. So, Dang and Rampa is a small community. I can't leap from a small community in Persona to another small community because I still have nowhere to go. I'm just, I'm just fucking juggling two small communities like a, like, a, like a fucking ball sack. You know what I mean? So, just out of curiosity, what is your ultimate goal to reach? Like, what community? No community. It'll just be mine. Uh, it'll be big enough to the point where I have my own name on anything that I want to do. You know what I mean? Listen, here's the here's the pie chart of how things need to be structured evenly. Otherwise, shit dies in order. I have to like the game. The audience has to like the game and the game has to get views. If I don't like the game, but the game is big and the audience likes it, then I hate myself. A la my original uh, Persona 5 challenge runs. If I like the game and there's a big enough audience for it, but the audience doesn't like my content, then I'm just like at the bottom. I'm not going anywhere. I make videos and the audience likes it, but there's not a big enough audience. I'm just small fry. It has to be those three all connected and with proper timing, proper styling, and I have to find the right community, have the proper edits. All of these things have to come together equally all the time, every time for this to work. Content's difficult. The main thing is I just want to make content that feels good to me. I want to collaborate with other with other content creators and I just want to make things that I truly enjoy as a personality and not a fucking scripted writer. Like, anyway, that's the main point that I want to get away. I don't want to feel like I'm complaining. Um, I'm just stuck. I'm stuck in white or not white, but non-black persona SMT content hell stuck. But I'm going to speak to the YouTube people directly right because this is going to be a part of a persona video anyway so you guys are probably going to see this i'm asking you genuinely on youtube please just give me an opportunity and watch my other stuff just because it's not persona doesn't mean i'm still not making jokes 
and having you know fun it's the same style of content that you're used to from me but just please help me out just you know watching the video a little bit longer or anything just just anything just give me a chance an extra comment something because i'm i cannot get out if not that's fine but the style is going to change whether you like it or not and if you don't really fuck with the new content that's coming i understand if you unsubscribe i understand but if you are here and you do like my content even if it was old please give me a chance now thank you